the good news is we are still here. So I said that if Suleiman was to leave, that I would rage quit the club. And there was bids of actually about 200,000. But the board, despite being quite heavily in the red, held firm. I've done transfers. I think we've got a very good team. According to the ever accurate season preview, we are heavy favourites to win the league. So we're going to speed run this season and we're going to win the league and nothing will go wrong. Greetings and salutations, my friends. Welcome back and welcome to the Transfer Bonanza. As you can see, I've made cash profit in the transfer window. Erkan was never really played well for us. He's the decent player. His physicals are a bit low, but he was kicking up a fuss about wanting more first-team football and he wasn't playing enough high enough level. So we've sold him for 18k. Uh, Canley, we sold for 25k. He's an okay player. I would have kind of kept him, but we needed the over-23 slot. We already had a DM and... Uh, wages so sorry mate but it's 25 grand and then uh, we just <laughs> how do i how do i explain this one you know the good goalkeeper we had well i've sold him for 10 grand like he was okay he was he was decent um i may i i may i you know probably a bug i may have accidentally signed too many goalkeepers um yeah so i signed another goalkeeper that was, I wanted to battle out for first choice. So probably a little bit better than that clan. And they were going to battle out. And then I was like, I don't know what, brain fart. I then signed another goalkeeper that's like a decent backup. Really cheap wages, solid backup, but definitely not first choice. And I'm like, I probably don't need three goalkeepers, especially with two on high wages. Um, I need to sell one. And obviously I can't sell the two I just signed. So <laughs> our clan is out. Uh, like he did I for us last season. Um, so that's a little bit sad, but it, it is what it is. So let me take you through, spend a little bit of money. As you can see, <laughs> treat myself, spend a little bit of money. And we've made some good signings, got in a couple of loanies. So th I think this one is the one I'm most, the first one is the one I'm most excited about. Sir Khan, the Midikaran, um, six grand, big money. He's a right winger that's under 23. Important to note that. Slots in, you know, with a registration. Very pacey. Can cross the ball. Like, simple. Like, off the ball's a bit low, but like, everything else is pretty good. His job, just get down the wing, whip it in to Suleiman, coming in at the back post. Bosh. That's not your entire job. And I think he's going to be very good. And again, he's only 19, and to get anyone under 23 is really hard because nobody can get rid of their under 23s because they need their under 23s. Right, we've got Kazan on loan. He's one of our defensive midfielders. Kind of Canley's slight upgrade, but also under 23 on loan. Um, and I'm paying £35 a week. So that's now. And Canley was on like 675 quid. So you can see why I've done it. Right, Bora Kua. Um, is our new, <laughs> you know, you get that, <laughs> you know, you get that thing at the beginning of the season that's like um, top goal scoring, like favourites to be top goal scorer, favourites to be player of the season or young player of the season. Um, Suleiman was not on the list of to be top goal scorer, which is fair enough, he's not a striker, or player of the season. But this guy apparently is second favourite. Yeah. And I had another guy. Another defensive player that was also like fifth favourite to be player of the season. So, like, he is decent. But player of the season in the whole league decent? I'm not so sure. Um, then we've got Murat Senel, um, a 22 year old right back. Lovely. On a. Is that free? Yep. Uh, we've got this guy on loan, Eddie's. Um, another central midfielder just to get a bit more depth. Uh, he's coming in only £300 a week. It's very hard to balance the books. Albert Cock. Great name. Definitely not the reason. 50% of the reason why I signed him. But actually, very pacey left back. Um, can play further up if we had an injury crisis or we decided to play with left wingers. But not the most defensive, but decent, very decent going forward. Um, and his name's Cock, so, you know, why Why would you not? Um, this is our backup goalkeeper. Like, for a backup goalkeeper, ignore the blonde quiff, if you can. 
I know you might not be able to get past it, but just look at the numbers. Look at the numbers. Like a decent little backup goalkeeper, only on £110 a week. Very happy with that. Uh, Hamet Kulia is our other left back. Struggled a little bit for left backs, but these two are going to essentially battle it out. Probably not as pacey, but a bit more well rounded. Can play all down this left hand side. We've got Sudahan Findiki. Fin yeah. What's, what's, why that? Why that? Um, 28 years old. Solid central midfielder. Number 10 spot is essentially where he's going to be playing more of. Um, but a decent player. We've got Karium Bakush, um, who is a number 10. Doesn't know how to play striker, but is just a striker. <laughs> like, factually, a striker. Uh, but he can play as that number 10 slot as well. So he's going to sort of fill in at both. So I started... Here, here was my problem. I started building from the back. Okay, we've got the defenders. Okay, let's get the midfielders in, blah, blah, blah. And then I realised that I was running out of wages and um, under twenty, over 23 slots and money. And then I was like, oh, but I still need like attacking players. So this this could get a little bit awkward. Uh, we've got Berkey is our backup uh, right back. Um, I just, I like Berkey. I'm just going to call him Berkey. It'd probably be called a Berkey anyway, but let's just make sure. Berkey. Uh, 20 years old, absolutely rapid. I'm going to play him maybe as our backup right winger, I think, is where I'm retraining him. He's not that good at football, but man, pace. If we play him at right back, he will not make any tackles. So, Berkey there. Then we've got uh, Vessel Sapan, is our new number one goalkeeper. And I think he's a very good, well-rounded goalkeeper for this level. I think he's a leading player for most one on side. So, yeah, he's a very good player. Um, and then we've got... Okay, so this is where we ran out of money and I had no backup to the striker. And I wanted kind of a supportive target man striker. So we've loaned a guy in. Um, Fevzi Can Bozkus. Uh, he's not very good, but I'm paying no wages. And they don't mind me using him as an impact sub. So they basically cast him out to the winds like he was giving up. He's 30 years old. Like, they've just given up on him. Um, he's well-travelled, let's say. Um, a journeyman, if you will, for the journeyman. That is an impressive... That's got to be some of the most clubs I've ever seen a single player play. Every season he's gone to a different club. He's had some decent seasons as well. Anyway, all, right. <laughs> all on a free. I like it. Just one-year deals. Obviously, we've signed him on a one-year deal. Good. Got to keep up the thing. Um, and then we've got Kadir and Ari. Ari um, is going to be our sort of back up to Suli man, but also on the right wing as well. 30 years old. All good. Finances, bad. Projection, Really bad. Half a mil ski by the end of the sea. Like, that's that's horrendously bad. Um, we are a grand under the wages. I'm trying my best to keep this club afloat. Um, the board are now satisfied going into the season. They want us to grow the club's reputation, which, promotion. Uh, <laughs> work within budget. Um, they want us to get to the third place playoffs. Fine. Be competitive in the Turkish Cup. So, all on board, but as I said, the season preview. Like we're quite heavy favourites um, at this point, so it's a little bit worrisome. Suleiman um, and Sapan, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, key players. I can, I get it. I get it. So we have the team. The tactic, look, I'm not good at tactics. I'm trying to build a tactic that doesn't make this team worse, essentially. Not to improve it, just let it play. Um, I think it's enough. I, I quite like the way it plays. We've got all the positions. We've now got a semi-decent backup goalkeeper as well. We've got all the positions needed, apart from, arguably, a backup target man. Um... He's all right. He's all right. But Soy's going to just smash him in again this season. Soy's just going to do bits. It probably will be his last season with us. It's going to be Suleiman's last season because I very much doubt he'll sign a new contract. Shall I ask him? 
Like there is teams interested. Yeah, he's not interested. So teams have bid for him, um, but I've agreed that if there's a bid of eight hundred thousand, <laughs> that he'll go. And I'm not even going to be mad at that. Like a third division side selling a player for eight hundred k would wipe out almost two years finances just sort sort it out immediately. So I'd be okay with that. I might even get a coaching badge if I managed to do that. So, who are we playing? You. And I've given up even trying to pronounce these st stupid team names. Yes, I said stupid. Um, I can't even remember what I looked at. It's just a jumble. It's like somebody head by the keyboard. Um, yep, play one of them. Let's pick a team. All right, Sapan in goal. Right back. But it's not Berg, okay? Remi I'm reminding myself as much as anybody. We've got Earl as the backup. Um, we've got Ozkal as the backup. Um, Senel, I think I think the scouts underrate him a little bit. I think he's a good player. Remember, we have like blind scouts. They they base their what they think of a player on sense of smell. That's how bad our scouts are. Um, we're going to put a cock at left back. Because why not? And then obviously we've got to put the... <laughs> We've got to wear, which one was the player of the year? We've got to play the guy that's going to, second favourite for player of the year. Um, we're going to go for our lefty on the left hand side. I did promise Gokunakan, and he did have a good end of the season. I do only have one left foot and centre back, but, you know, deal with it. And we've got a couple of good youngsters as well. Um, right, you can go on the bench. You can go on the bench. Kulia can go on the bench. Right, Hikmet, starter. Probably like a third best player last season. Um, I think we'll go with Edis. I'm just, I'm just going to make everything clear because I know they like to, because they like to be confusing and use different names on their shirt. But we're just look nice. Edis, Bosch. Um, number 10, these two are going to battle it out with Goktan as the sort of backup to what did I promise him? Oh, 160k, yeah. Another one that wanted to leave. Not a big deal. He was a hero for a very short space of time. I'm going to go with Finn Dickey, which is how I'm going to pronounce his name, despite knowing that that is not how you pronounce his name. I don't care. And... Pseudoman. Gonna play him on the left, mix things up. And we'll go for the super youngster. Big, big hopes for him. Broken leg first game. Like 80% chance. Um <clears throat> right, and then we'll go. You can go on the bench. Mert. Um you you. Uh, 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 we'll have you and you uh, we'll bring put you on the bench and just if we're winning the game we can bring him on get him used to the position a little bit more okay overall pretty happy with that team it's pretty well rounded now the optimism will surely get shattered i know many of you will be wanting to know my thoughts on the liverpool manchester united game um yeah it's rubbish wasn't it i didn't i didn't buy into the fact that we were going to smash them 10 nil because we're good and they're not at the moment and that's it because you gotta remember my entire childhood <laughs> was the sir alex ferguson era when they used to be re really 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 good and we were like the mid table team that occasionally had a little cup run and so that's that's what I've known. But we would still give them a game and beat them occasionally. So it's like I wasn't I was I would have been delighted with a one nil as the game panned out. Um, it was it was pretty one sided. Uh, I think ironically, hear me out. We would have beaten them if Bruno Fernandez had been available. Not because Bruno Fernandez is bad. Suleiman. Not because Bruno Fernandez is bad, but because. Ten Hag has this weird thing of playing um, McTominay because goals and Bruno Fernandes in the same team because Bruno Fernandes is really good and McTominay's like Man United's top goal scorer or something. But that means you have Amrabat at the back, panicking as the sort of lone DM, and those two just want to bomb forward. 
And because he wasn't available, um, they played two DMs. Suleiman! <laughs> That's why I wanted to keep him. Um, which actually a lot more security. He might have played that anyway, to be fair, but I think Man United fans have been crying out for the whole idea of how about playing two DMs and then having one attacking player. And Liverpool were just like, we had a ton of shots, but every shot was like edge of the box, def defender directly in front of them. I'm just going to shoot it at him and see what happens. Like lucky dip it, actually of 0 0.03 and just let's have loads of those. So we should have won it still with the amount of chances we had, but you know, don't begrudge. The sending off was really weird with Dallo. Um, but yeah, shame it was a boring game either way, but uh, it is what it is. Finn Dickey, did it not hit the other guy? Are we going to win the league? <laughs> Too early? Too early? I think we might win the league. I feel like this hits the soy, doesn't it? Oh, it's the defender. <laughs> it's a good finish. Little little cushioned finish. All right. Is that two assists for our young right winger? Is this it? Is this the season? It's our last season. If we don't if we don't go up, we're done. I wouldn't I wouldn't be, you know, distraught if we have a really good start and then another bigger team comes in. I'm happy to stay in it's obviously easier to stay in the nation you're already managing. So if a, a Turkish team wants to take a punt on me that's higher division, I would be up for that before we move on. Okay, so there's a better attacking move. Okay, goalkeeper sort of sort of dodged it a bit, didn't he? Sort of Oh god. Sort of matrix stick. Let's not let's not look at it again. Right, lads. Attacking players are doing well. Haven't seen Soy touch the ball, but that's fine. They risk a bit of praise. And also, on Liverpool, we've not been that good this season. We've not been blowing teams away. We've had late wins, scrappy wins, comeback wins. And I know they always... I hate this saying of, it's a sign of a good team to play bad and win. No, 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 no. Sign of a good team is, is to not play bad. <laughs> you know, you, you can't just continue to play bad and win and go. Well, that's the good team. That must be a good team then. No, 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 no. You do it occasionally. Fine. It's not a sign of a good a sign of a really good team is just to never play bad, isn't it? <laughs> okay, cocks off. Right, that's right. Give another debut. He's had a he's had a very good start. We are loving this at the moment. The new three attacking players heavily involved. Oh, yeah, look. Seven. Player of the year coming up. Bora. Playing a seven. There he is. Oh, cushion little pass out. Oh, he's, he's heavily involved. Oh, dinks it. To be fair, that was quite good. <laughs> I was taking the fist, but he's actually quite good. Okay. Should have scored. I think that's the highlight. Damn it. It is. Drives forward. Sir Can. What have you got for us this time, Sir Can? It's a lovely ball over. Trying to find the soy. It could be a, a counter attack of the counter attack. I think it might be. It's a good ball. Okay, keeper. <laughs> for both th shots, he seems to be lying down before the ball passes him. Let's not look again. Let's just look. It's a slippy, it's slippy ground. Slippy grass. Okay. Oh dear, that's not a good sign for the keeper. He's he's dodged both so far. It's almost like I shouldn't have sold the goalkeeper that was really solid for us last season. I know. I've blown your minds. Um Right, all right, let's give this guy a go. Don't think we're dominating this as much as I'd hoped earlier on in the game. Um, Errol can come on. Not sure how this is. A, I'm going positive. I now have 3 2 up. I'm going positive. Let's get a fourth goal because my goalkeeper is about to dodge one and let another one in. So if we could score a fourth, 
If after this start we drew this, if we draw this free all, I will not be a happy bunny. Oh, so you, it's taking the edge off, isn't it? It's taking the edge off. If we just smashed that three nil, I would have been like three early goals, bosh, job done, clean sheet, move on. But now we've got question marks. One of the question marks being, does my goalkeeper have hands? Which I probably should have checked when I scouted him, but my, like I said, my scouts use a sense of smell and you can't smell hands. So as we all know, science. Right, <laughs> it's, got, it's gone off track. Right, my friends, there we go. Like I said, we're going to zip through this season a little bit quicker this time. I'm going to play a bunch of games in between. I'll give you a good catch up. How are you feeling? How are you feeling about promotion this season? Let me know in the comments. I like be honest, be honest. If you if you want to say that the team's good, but my tactics can hold them back, that's fine. You can do that if you want. You'll be wrong because we're going to smash it this season. I'm gonna say we no. I think we're going to win the league. I think we're going to win the league. I think we've got good enough players, and more importantly, or just as importantly, good enough backups that I can rotate the number tens. Maybe. Attacking wise, we haven't quite got the the depth, but you know, registration rules. So initially, you can find me a twenty one year old that's really good, that's free. Tricky, right? There we go, my friends. Thank you very much. Hope you had a lovely weekend. I had we as well as the football. I built uh, two IKEA kitchen cabinets and cut down a breakfast bar um, into a worktop um, with a jigsaw. And um, if you know anything about DIY, um, cutting long straight lines with a jigsaw, tricky. Tricky. <laughs> a lot of sanding. Right, thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Give me your predictions in the comments. Be honest. Who win in the league?